As the eagerly anticipated Gold Rush Season 14 approaches, King of the Klondike Tony Beats finds himself battling mild headaches. At 66 years old, Beats is determined to surpass his previous remarkable achievement of a 5,300-ounce gold haul, valued at an impressive $9 million, by setting his sights on a 6,000-ounce goal. Securing access to his cherished claims along the Indian River, Beats encounters unexpected challenges when one of his children decides not to return for the season. Despite his unwavering determination to achieve a record-breaking gold haul, the departure of one of his offspring threatens to complicate matters. The burning question now is which of the Beats children will be absent for this season's adventure? Since becoming a fixture on Gold Rush, Tony Beats has enlisted his family to partake in his mining legacy. Over the years, this industry titan has amassed a fortune through his successes. Beyond the monetary gains, he's fostered a deep familial connection that has the potential to endure for generations, provided his children opt to continue their careers in mining. Tony and his spouse, Minnie, have three children who actively contribute to their mining endeavors, Kevin, Mike, and Monica. However, when one of his offspring declines to return for the upcoming season, Tony encounters unexpected challenges in his pursuit of a record-breaking gold haul. The identity of the absent child remains uncertain. Monica just had a baby, but she had no problem having the baby on the claim during the first year. Tony even fashioned a small prison cell to ensure the baby's safety while Monica continued her work. Nevertheless, it's unclear whether she pursued other ventures. Kevin may have embarked on a journey of marriage, while Mike seems content to remain within the mining fold. Consequently, it appears that the decision to leave likely rests between Monica and Kevin. Given the circumstances, it is reasonable to speculate that Monica Beats may be the one who won't return for this season, as Kevin's expertise as a mechanic plays a crucial role in the Beats family's mining machinery. While Tony and Minnie currently have no plans of retiring, a day will inevitably come when their children, Monica, Mike, and Kevin, must make the choice to continue their parents' legacy. The couple maintains a simple yet profound stance, they wholeheartedly support their children in whatever career paths they choose, as long as it brings them happiness. A Reddit user expressed appreciation for witnessing Tony enjoying some lighter moments with his crew. However, they also voiced a desire to see Tony take a step back and allow his children more opportunities to gain experience in managing the operations. The Redditor suggested that if Tony continues to micromanage every aspect and doesn't enable his kids to take on greater responsibilities, he and the business might never truly retire, and Mike and Kevin may never achieve independence. This sparked a lively debate among commenters regarding who might be prepared to step into Tony's role at the helm if he ever decides to retire. One individual suggested that Kevin and Faith are the future leaders, while expressing doubts about Mike's suitability for a leadership position despite acknowledging his strong work ethic. Others concurred, emphasizing Mike's diligent work but indicating that he might not be cut out for a managerial role. In response, the original poster concurred with the notion that Kevin and Faith are poised to become the future leaders. However, they emphasized the importance of including Mike and Monica in this potential transition, stressing that it should be a collective effort. They proposed that Tony should take on a mentoring role with Mike, given that he is his son, and offer him the opportunity to learn and manage the operations alongside Kevin. Drawing parallels to how Tony mentored Parker, they highlighted the immense success that approach has yielded.